What is up, you guys? Welcome back to a new series, I guess. Um, we're going to be playing the Walker Farms map, and we are going to be basically replicating everything that they have on their farm as close as possible. It's it's not going to be exactly the same, and it's not going to be a role play because I, I don't really feel like doing that. But for the first video, I'm just going to kind of like walk us through it, and then um, probably the later videos, like three, three, four, five, and so on, are going to be the high speed videos that you guys are used to. But if you guys are excited for this video, don't forget to give it a like. Then also subscribe down below. We are 15 subs away from hitting 100 subscribers, and I am, you know, excited to get that email from YouTube. It's gonna be lit. It's gonna be a cool video when I make my 100 subscribers special. So without further ado, let's get into the map here. All right, so you start off with some decent equipment. Um, they don't. They bleh, bleh, words are. They don't have a 747 bud, so I'm gonna get rid of that. But they do have these cedars, or I guess like the the all black versions. So that's what we're gonna be using. And yeah, so we're just gonna go through the garage here and see what they have. So I actually have a Magnum that um like I want to use. So I'll get rid of that. I'll keep the stock 450. I'm going to get rid of the warrior because obviously we have that. Um, I don't know. It depends. I might keep that. I don't know yet. Um, I'm going to get rid of the pickup because I have Ram pickup trucks. I'm going to get rid of the grain car because they don't really use a grain car. I might like role play one in into like, I guess, into play. <laughs> I might like put one in and, you know, as like a, oh, they've got no deal thing. So. Let's get rid of all that, and we're keeping all the silos and sheds and all that, so this is pretty much all that we're going to be keeping. So obviously, they are the, like, like most well-known for their big buds. So I have a picture up on my left monitor right now. They have a Series 1, a Series 2, and a Series 3. Um, I'm going to keep... This one looks more like... This one looks like a Series 3, so I'm going to keep it as the Series 3. And then um, I'm going to go into large tractors here, and then I'm going to see if I can go over here. So um, this is the one that came with um, like the actual with the map. So this is another modded one that I have. Um, there's like, and then I'll do thick twin wheels. And then this will be the Series 2, um, because it'll have less horsepower than this one, which has 500. So, and then we also have the Big Brute, obviously, that's in the, uh, in the local mod hub. And then also, we have, I'm gonna get two trucks. We, of course, have to have <laughs> the, um, International 9370 truck that they have. Um, gotta buy that. And then... What other trucks they have? They have like a blue Peterbilt. Um, it doesn't have a sleeper, does it? No, it doesn't. None of their trucks have sleepers. Um, you know what? Let's do this truck here. 1156, and then this one. It's like a... No, it's like a dark... Yeah, okay. It's not a GPS on that, and then... Let's get let's get another trailer for that. Um, we are going to be modding in money, but we we don't need it so far. This trailer is going to be for um, the 9370 because it it's a Demco trailer, but it's like actually no, they have a stainless steel. Yeah, okay, that's I need to get rid of one. I need to get rid of one of them. Um, where are they? That is, I feel like, the less, less in value. So, yeah, alright. So, we're going to grab another cedar here. Where are they? Cedars. Um, I may or may not grab a modded one if I do have one. I have no idea if I do. Um, yeah, no, I don't believe I do. So, let's grab just another set of these. And then we can hook them up behind... Oh, I am out of money. That is very inconvenient. Yep, 
Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna take a loan. I mean, loans in farm sim literally don't even matter because, like, mm, yeah, you could go bankrupt or not even bankrupt. You could just go negative money. But I mean, <laughs> far in in farm sim that doesn't really matter. Um, and then let's just buy another Terminator TH. Jeez, I don't know what's going on with my game today. All right, let's go here. Buy it. Boom, boom. And then let's take this series two and go boom. I might literally just like, I don't know if I want the series one yet because like there's no need for it, I guess. So that's why I'm like not buying a, a third big bud because they obviously do have a third big bud. But um, yeah, it's, it's just not worth it in my opinion because why spend all that extra money when you don't have to? Let's open the gate here. I've played on this map once or twice before, but I've never done like a, a real YouTube series on it. But first of all, we got to get all of our, um, all of our like stuff set. I just want to make sure that was on max. All right. Real time. Boom. Uh, let's go normal automatic traffic off. I, I just dislike traffic so much traffic sucks so um on their farm they harvest wheat and soybeans and sometimes a bit of like well this year they're doing barley so i think the crops that we're going to be planting are wheat barley and soybeans and um i can't i can't remember what what crops they did um a while ago I'm trying to figure that out in my head but um Actually, I need to do something about the fields here. So we own field two here, and I just don't like that field. I prefer field three. Yeah, that's a bigger plot of land, but I prefer field three. So we're just going to buy field three, and then you'll see you'll see what we're doing with that. But the only issue that I find with the big buds is that they're just incredibly slow. Like, it's taking me forever to get there. But, yeah, it's... It's going to be fun. They also have two like case harvesters. So I'm going to I'm going to look and see what I have. I have a 90 like I have the 9240 like in game and all that stuff, but that's that's boring. Um there's these 9240s that I have from Stevie that I might get. There there's the um and they all have like extensions too, so as as we gradually progress, then it'll like we can up the extensions. But yeah, I think actually we can we can sell the 9240 because I'm just gonna get two Stevie, two Stevie mods. And we can sell the stock flexicoil um, header. Yeah, so it's gonna be fun. I have no idea where I'm gonna put this stuff. So I I really like to park things in sheds. So, I like, I don't know. I'm just very, very about that. <laughs> so, let's just open everything up. Why did that make a duck sound? That legit made a duck sound. But, yeah. It's, um... <laughs> we might decide to run an auger wagon. I'm not sure yet. Um, so... We're gonna... We're just gonna start putting stuff away. If you know what I mean, like... Let's or let's just buy the two Stevie combines that I want here. Um, there we go, Stevie. They of course have the wheeled ones, so I'm just gonna get the biggest engine possible. They have a dual combine, and they also have a single one. There's no like, there's no LSW option. I don't have enough money, but um, yeah, it's there's no LSW option, which sucks because they're like they're a huge part of that combine or beast bind as we should be saying but um let's go with this one big i mean it doesn't make much of a difference does it yeah no it doesn't really we're gonna have to keep borrowing more money i don't I've, i already have a like a huge loan out but you know what like i said before it does not matter so let's go to headers here and we need the uh, Terraflex by Stevie. So let's buy two of those. 
and that's that. But we're just going to take the big brute, and we are going to put it in a building. I think it's going to be this one. And we're just going to park it up. Oh, nice. And in the corner. Right there. So, yeah, I... I don't really know what to do with, like, all this stuff. I'm still figuring out all all the very specific things that I want. But I'm not doing, like, everything that they have. Because, obviously, that's impossible. But, um... Yeah, we have Big Brute. We have the International. We have the Combines that they have. Um, we have the trucks. We could get... If we do get one more truck, then we'll get the Red Peterbilt. But, um... Yeah. This looks pretty much like theirs it's just not a demco trailer so that's the only downside but we're we're doing the best we can here and um i'll park the two trucks in the buildings i've like basically what i'm gonna do is park the trucks in the buildings like i don't know what it is about me i mean i just take them out the next day or the next harvest but there's just something about me that ri like that just really really like likes parked vehicles and i just absolutely messed that up the annoying thing about this truck is the like the turning radius on it is just oh god awful, but and the brakes, brakes and turning radius. But you know what? None of that matters because we're just going to vibe. So I'm just gonna park this in the center, and then maybe put something on the same line as the big brute in there. Oh, I might put one of the big buds in there. Okay, that's as far as it'll go. Um. Combines, 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 combines. I don't know. I legit might have to buy another Walker Farm Shed because, like, I don't know. I want to stay authentic, but, like, you know, I'm a, I'm a, uh, I'm a guy who likes to put things in, in storage. So, this is pretty close to theirs. It doesn't have, theirs doesn't have the back thing, but, um, yeah, it's pretty close to theirs. Um, it's blue. <laughs> That's about it. Um, if I do end up needing, like, an auger wagon later on, I'll probably get, like, a quad track with an auger wagon, even though that's, that's not the most ideal thing, because quad tracks are slow, but we're trying to keep it authentic here. So, I might put, like, one of the big buds in there, honestly, I'm thinking. I'll probably put, like, uh, there we go. Yeah, I just wish there was more, like, customization, you know? Like, there was more things to be able to do. Um... They have a Magnum, and I do have that. I do have that Magnum as a mod, but I don't know if I want to buy it just yet because I don't need it. So that's that's that. But I'll just park this semi back here. God, in real life you would never go that fast. You would never go that fast. All right. Um. They have. Mm, I'm trying to figure out where where. They do also have a John Deere, but, I mean, they rarely use that, so, yeah, okay, so this is, they have it, hmm, I don't know how I want it, because they have it, hmm, yeah, okay, I think that's, what about if I do Michelin, nah, Michelins are too wide, okay, um, front attacher, Let's do weights. Um, we can do many different fronts like that. And 245 horse. And I don't think we can do... Um, yeah, no, I don't think we can do like weights and stuff, so... Yeah, no, we can't do um, like that thing, but... Let's just go 1,700 kilograms. I do not have enough money, and I seriously just spent all that time customizing that. Uh, I'm such an L. Borrowing more money, the American way, let's just go into debt. Um, yeah, let's just borrow a ton of money. Or, I might just do the stock one. I, I legit might just do the stock one, if we're being honest. Oh, my cat's in here. Yeah, let's just do the stock one. Um, I mean, it doesn't even have front loader attachers anyway, so it won't matter. Man, that's a that's a weird tractor. All right, um, guess we're guess we're back back to where we started. Um, 1,700 kilogram, boom. Yeah. All right, like that. I like that. Um, 
I don't really know what that's going to do for us, but um, let's just grab the harvesters here. And I don't, I don't know where I want to put them, though. I might just leave the headers outside because, I mean, they're headers. Like, I feel bad, but they're just headers, which is weird because I normally like to park everything, but I'm just not, I'm not in it right now. All right, so we are back at the homestead. And uh, I'm trying to figure out a good place to put. I'm trying to figure out a good place to like put um, the headers. Um, I'll probably like wrap them around the back of the shop here. Yeah, I think this is the best uh, course of action here. Just wrap them around the back here, and then just kind of plop them down right there, and. I don't know, man. We may, we might have to move equipment to the other quintets, but um, let's just back this into here. Uh, yes, yeah, I think we can have the harvesters in here. I think we can fit both of them in here. Let's see what's that's doing. Yeah. All right. Wow, that is close. All right. So let's grab the other one. And let's take it all the way up. Boom. Yeah, no, and then we can put like um like the series three big bud in um in the shed or something. Yeah, it's a whole it's a whole thing. Just trying to find shed space like the yes, there's another quantet, but I don't really wanna like have stuff up there. I mean I could. That would make life much easier. Like, um, all right, we don't really own that area, do we? No, but mm, it's whatever. All right, we are back again to the homestead. So what we're gonna do is just kind of wrap around like we like, like we did. Um, yeah, it's a it's a whole thing because a lot of the stuff that they have on their farm in farm sim you you either can't get or you don't need. Like their um their sprayer trailer, I might try to make one in farm sim if like if that's possible. If if we do end up doing that, but yeah, we're gonna um we're gonna end up like spraying and stuff and using big brutes, so it's it's just gonna like be as close as possible to um like the to the real thing and um kind of like it's not going to be a role play like I said it's just it's just we're gonna be do like doing as much as we can that's similar um yeah no those will fit yeah. With a little room, that's almost hitting that, but yeah. With a little room to uh, walk around in here, maybe park something else in here. Um, which one is the Series 3? The Series 3 has the more horsepower. That's this one. So, um, we're going to wash all that with the Instant Wash mod. Love to see it. Um, I don't even know where I would park this. I think I'm just going to park this up there. I doubt I'm gonna use it, um, cause I like, um, they're they're a no-till, um, type of farm, but like, you know, just, just for, just for you know, I guess equipment organization, we're just gonna move this over here. I like my farms very like organized and stuff, so that's why like at the end of all my old videos, I used to just park every single piece of equipment, even like if I was gonna use it the next harvest, I would still try and make it look like tidy. So we're just going to kind of like park this in the bushes over there. And then um, let's park the Series 3 in the shed here if we can. I don't know if we will be able to. Oh, it's going to be a tight squeeze. Oh, no. All right. All right. All right. Oh, man, this is going to be such a tight squeeze. Oh my god. Oh my god. What what am I doing? Oh no. All right. I guess I guess those are in. <laughs> those are in. All right. Um so let's park these this way. I, like if we ever do get more equipment that's just going to be like where it's all parked if like if I'm not using it. But um yeah. Let's just all park this right over here kind of like out the way 
Um, I, I don't know what crop I want to plant first. I kind of want to plant um, soybeans first just so we can, you know, get that off our minds. Get it, get a little bit of money in our pockets. Um, this has oat in it, so I'm just going to change this to um, soybeans. Now, they, they tried a few different crops over the years, but they don't do, like, everything. Um, I think they did oat, actually, last time. I'm not quite sure. I can't remember. It's been a while since they harvested it. It was last fall. But, um, yeah, let's park this one. Instant wash it. Still need to make a mod review on that. And then either this one is just going to stick out or I might be able to park everything where I want to, quite honestly, if, if this door opens. Okay. And then I might be able to park this in here. Either I'm going to try and back it in. I don't know yet. And then I'll drive the magnum into that small shed. Or I might be able to park this on an angle. Alright, dope. And then does it still close? There we go. I'm going to just leave it open because, you know, why not? All right, now let's drive this thing all the way down. We, of course, don't need it quite yet, but um, it's quite relevant on their farm, so um, just, just to, you know, have it, it'll be really dope. So, yeah, if you guys have watched all the way through this video, please give it a like, please. And epi episode two will be coming on Sunday. Um, this video drops on a Wednesday, so I am super excited for this. Um... I just realized that, okay, wait, hold on, boom, 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 oh, back and side windows open, that's a, that's a cool thing, but yeah, and then, um, before this video ends, I'm going to fix the, uh, the field to how I want it, um, just so you guys will know what I'm talking about, so, like, right here, for, like, hired workers, this field will be a nightmare, I mean, obviously, it's real life, and exactly what they have, but, like, they can't do the whole, like, circle around the grain bin thing. They'll just, like, yeah. They'll just make a mess out of it. So, I just prefer not to do this field, and I don't want to go over, like, it stretches up the different sides. Anyway, I mean, you guys, you guys see it. Did I turn crop destruction off? Because that looks like crop destruction. Um, and let's park this thing Will it even fit in here? Man, my driving is terrible. Alright, let's park it in here. There ye go. And then let's... Wait, there's a light switch in here? Boom! Okay. W. Alright, um, let's just leave that open, because why not? I, I don't know how I feel about this, Big Bud. I want... Here, I have an idea. Okay, this is... This is just so irrelevant, but, um, I just want to make everything fit just for peace of mind, because I am annoying like that, and I just like everything to fit. So, I'm going to take this one out. Um, yeah, but maybe later on we'll get the Series 3, Bud. Or, no, Series Series 1 big bud um because you know trying to keep it authentic but also at the same time we don't really need it so let's go through this side and we can move this one up a bit and then uh let's go back here sup um i think this is supposed to be scott and this is supposed to be nick i don't know um yeah, no idea. But anyway, um, let's park this 9240 in there. But yeah, no, the um, the great thing about these combines that I have is they have fast headers, so we'll still be able to play at um, a modded advantage, even with um, you know having it stay authentic. Also, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is great. All right, so I had a little bit of a uh, fiasco with the um, with the uh, with the big uh, the the, um, the combine. I don't know why I couldn't talk right there, but um, yeah. 
it 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 sucked. Yeah, I flipped it and I had to reset it. So let's um, it, it, this is my idea. So we can park this one as like they can park this one closer in here. Boom. And then we can... Uh, I'm trying to maneuver in here. Can you even open these doors? No. And then... We can back this one up. Like so. And then we can take the big bud here and go on this side and we should be able to back it up all the way in straight without having any issues like so and then what I think I'm gonna do is take the this is literally just all useless I'm just like yeah This is all just useless behavior, but you know what? Screw it. We can just reset this one now that I know the reset point is literally right there. Um, I might try to put this in another shed. Not quite sure. Um, that shed was legit just like too, too, too small. I don't know where I want to put this. Um, maybe in that side? No, it won't fit. Um, maybe open this door. We could probably squeeze it in on that side. Good thing we don't have duels on this track, otherwise that would just, like, a absolutely freaking ruin it. Like, what I'm doing here. So, yeah. And then we just kind of, like, park it in the corner. Like, so away from the door... So if somebody were to come in, theoretically, um, or you know what we could do is it actually, it actually does fit on the lift. So if we did want to put it on the lift, but yeah, it's got a cool little machinery area here. Yeah. But anyway, um, let's get out of here or at least, you know, vibe like that. If you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a like and also subscribe down below i know it's kind of a longish one um the next one will probably be a high speed planting and uh, harvest so thank you guys so much for watching uh love you guys for watching and peace out